In this video, how to record audio from Windows using Audacity. In the context of this, what I mean is record the audio only from various video meeting services that you may find yourself in. Of course, Zoom, Skype, uh, Hangouts, Meet, uh, whereby Microsoft Teams, Facebook, what, whatever. The point is this, and this is the context with the examples. Let's imagine top right, you're actually in a video meeting and in an example, you're in a lesson where the teacher or the lecturer promises to record and share this meeting and they never do, in which case you might not be paying attention, you might be tired or it might be just really complicated and you don't get it. You don't have the audio only to play back and to learn from. You have to step away from this video call for a few minutes. Let's say you did, you can record that three to four minutes on audio only so you don't lose anything because the chances are when you come back, uh, you might think, oh no, what have I missed? and you'll never get that time back again. Number three, you have to get, say, recording access in Zoom as the session already starts, and you don't want to be the one who's going to interrupt the speaker or the host. And finally, number four, which I just found out, and I'm actually a paying basic G Suite customer, I thought that Google Meet, uh, you could allow recording. You can, but you actually have to have Google Meet Enterprise, because that's the only way to record. And I'm like, what? Anyway, Bottom part is, look, don't go around recording people covertly and in secret. Treat others as you would like to be treated yourself. With that said, there are some conditions, I would say, which is fair to record things, especially educational. So this is how to do it. It's really simple. Um, you go to record audio from Windows using Audacity. Top, uh, drop it down. There'll be a demo in a second. You drop it down to the source Windows Wasapi. I don't know if you say it like Wasapi, but it's actually called bottom Windows Audio Session API. And you select that. That allows you to get a ton of waveforms. As I said, I will demo it Windows Wasapi. And then you've got to select the microphone as the, in my example, speakers loopback. Loopback is the big deal. If you don't select loopback, you ain't doing it, my friends. Um, I made a previous video in 2018. I said use stereo. I'm not sure that you need stereo anymore. In other words, you can use stereo or mono. So demo. For one I've prepared earlier, I'm going to bring in a simplistic music file from Windows Media and, of course, the thing which is free open source audacity. So in here, look, if I play, there's my little um, audio, which is from... YouTube Music Library, I guess, and MME drops down to Wasapi. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, probably because it's Friday. Loopback, stereo. Then I can play again. Nothing's happening, obviously, because I hit, need to hit record. So you'll notice that nothing is playing at the moment because I haven't got any incoming audio. Oh, how peaceful is that? So there's my little thing there where the moment I've stopped my media source, it is automatically stopped in Audacity, which is interesting. Didn't know it did that. To make sure that you've got the right sound play. That's pretty much it, really, isn't it? So good luck with it. Obviously, you know, sorry, but you know, I'm getting to a level where Audacity, a lot of people are using it, and so I just want to crack on with it. Then export the clip, in my experience, with a WAV file I always used. Want a smaller file? Select MP3 in the normal, usual way in this society. Um, for those people jumping up and down saying, what about recording audio and video together? Of course, use OBS in my experience. You can just um, grab a monitor, if you like, to put the frame size, frames per second down to, I don't know, one or something. You need something in there or just make it blank and then open up the desktop audio and hit record in the normal way and save it. And you can do things like that. On the top right here, I put a concept piece, which is... Uh, the philosophy of if you have audio only, I would say that's workable. You could hear what the meeting was all about. Um, if you had video only and no sound, yeah, you can see a load of people sitting in a video meeting, but it'd be utterly meaningless because you've got no audio. I would argue very much, as it's a fact, that audio files are very, very small compared to video files. So that's another way of getting these audio files out, say for a 60 minute meeting, shoveling them to Dropbox, um, Google Drive, or wherever. and sharing them. Once again, these were a few notes on how to record audio from Windows using Audacity with any service you well like. This also works with anything that is incoming into your 
laptop desktop, i.e. from web browsers, media players, pretty much anything. Again, I'm not condoning any illegal use of recording from the web with whatever source it comes from. Just be sensible. Have a lovely day in this environment of working from home and remotely.